All right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon and good evening. Uh, mga kaitoro. Mga bagito. <laughs> and um, all the newbies out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Kamusta, kamusta. Can you guys hear me all right? Um, I'm still using my temporary mic. Um, so, inayas ko pa yung office ko. Yeah, gold morning. Uh <clears throat> Thank you, Dark Care. Ayun, uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's wait for uh, a bit. Say ba? And I'm sorry, um, medyo na late tayo. Sarap ng tulog ko kagabi. Um, galing ako sa uh, meeting <laughs> di tumba <laughs> namin ni um, Bengski. And yeah, it was a good meeting. Yeah. Thank you, Samian. Thank you. Good gold morning, by the way, guys. I just posted in our uh, page, group page, and then our um, Twitter page, the Facebook, right, for our link um, when I'm up. So. Mm. And all right, but my connection right now is definitely better, way way better, compared to sa you know that I got it the other day. <laughs> so <clears throat> good good news, right? Uh, when I woke up, um, I was greeted with this uh TP hit, right? The position at then last week, it just hit, guys. Ayun. <laughs> so. Um, greens na naman dun sa mga nagkapi natin dyan uh, na hindi na bumitao, right? Last week. Um, and if you're asking like um, this copy trader here, uh, Edux to 0 to 19, uh, tanong niya, what do you, uh, what to do with the 3% plus gain, right? And the gains basically, guys, is um, kasi Diba? Sa portfolio ko, I gained like 18%, right? So, or 19, let's just round that off. But if you're looking at your own portfolio and um, you're asking na um, anong nangyari, like, like bakit maliit lang yung gain ko, um, the answer to that is proportional kasi yung copy trading, right? So, and that's why meron tayong dito sa bio ko, um, I, my recommendation, right? Uh, recommended um, is 1k and up because that's uh, close to my current portfolio and that's probably the most optimal uh, proportion uh, equity na magamit nyo i-copy trade that you will get um, the optimal gains, right? So for example, if you have a thousand na naka-copy trade uh, sa portfolio ko, dito sa public profile ko and then you should definitely have that 80% gain also, right? Right now, if you started copying me last week, right? Starting last week. So yeah, so the 3% gain, like I said to Edox, um, or Edu, Edu na lang tawag ko sa'yo. Um, my recommendation is just leave it there and let it grow, right? Either that's basically what we're here for. We're investing, right? Unless you're just here for yung mga short term, right? So that's a different story because this profile here is not for those short term. Although, if you look at my you know history, uh, medyo, medyo short term yung dating niya is because um, may ibang trades dito na nagtitip agad, right? And that's just, you know, how it works yung sa TP system. Um, it's not intentionally set to TP right away, but Sometimes nagi hit lang talaga siya based on our TA, right? So you can see that here, All right? Ayan. It's consistent TP for the past week, and of course we have our cut. We have to cut losses sometimes just to make sure now we're safe, right? Ayun. So our stats were right on track. Um, you know, back on track, recovering. So I'm right now um like fifty fifty. I'm thinking. Um, 
we might you know still still push for it right um to re- fully recover our losses uh july which is uh you know a red day or a red month like and daming reds done because just because of the trump indicator right towards the end of the month um and you know and daming na hit dun, you know that's just how it is so now moving forward we're trying to recover so august right this is the current month right now and uh we're almost there, right? So, stay positive lang. Especially for those up active copy traders right now. So, 29, thank you for your, your trust and support. We will get there. Uh, that I promise you, right? And this account, for those who are wondering uh, why July lang yung account reg start, right? It's a new account, right? Like you can see in the bottom, um... If you scroll down way to the bottom, it will say July 2 lang like starting account. Yes, that's true because this is my second account, right? And this is for my public uh, mid to long term um, type of account. And you're all welcome to follow me and copy trade if you want. Although, unfortunately, right now we just hit our maximum uh, AOM, uh, also known as assets under uh, management right um meaning to say if hindi ka pa like dito right uh, hindi hindi ka pa, pa kasali sa popular investor program like me cuz bago pa yung account right uh, one of the requirements is actually 2 months worth of active trading right history and i'm not there yet cuz as you can see we're just in the second month diba so um ideally sana ngayon ako mag apply right or by by september but uh we hit one of the requirement also that dapat hindi siya umabot ng maximum of eight risk, right? So overall, sa you know average max risk, so inabot natin yun. So unfortunately, I can't apply yet uh, on this month. So but that means by September ako pwede mag-apply. So ideally, you know, um, as long as we follow our TA and everything, you know, goes according to plan. By October, we should be part of the popular investors. And to all those uh, who would like to copy me, uh, that's been uh, DMing me for the past couple of days, uh, you'll be welcome to copy me back then. And I'll post that in our group, in our Discord, and our Twitter page, if you have Twitter, um, that it's good to go now, right? The moment that we, you know, be part of the popular investors right basically you'll see me here soon hopefully right these are uh, current top investors and trending investors right the moment you see me here uh or basically pag meron ng you know yung color yung check mark dito right and then the, um i think the cadet is light blue diba? or blue then that's the time that i could freely accept new cup years right and um, i wish you all uh, good luck. All right. See you then. <clears throat> That's our little update for the, our, you know, magandang run last week, right? Or a couple, two weeks. Um, medyo, you know, natakot yung iba, uh, obviously, because, and then yung iba nag-hit ng TP then, because obviously, if you look at my history, these positions here, the pound pair, uh, the pound Japanese yen pair, na I've been holding for like two weeks. As you can see, I bought them um, like July 8th, pa, right? Some of them. Yeah. I mean, sorry, not July 8th, but first week of August, right? And I just, you know, some of them are was just closed last week, diba? So, kaya parang like natakot yung iba and some of them were hit by, ano tawag ito? Uh, the SL, right, or stop loss, kasi because, because ma- medyo mababa yung uh, funds, right? Uh, that's okay, that's normal, right? But then, you know, we recovered because we believed in our TA, we believed in our technical analysis, and that happened, right? Bumalik, and then now we're on positive 10 overall. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Okay, so now, um, while waiting 
for our entry, maganda na yung takbo ng uh, pound pair natin, no? <laughs> so while waiting for an entry point for our gold, right? Which I'm thinking to enter also again. Let's see. In volume medyo mababa kasi it's still early, right? Um, technically, it's still... Oh, actually, Monday na siya, but early morning in the US. That's 12 a.m. right now. So, yeah. If you can see here, diba, one of the you know component or requirements of strategy ko, and if you're following my strategy or trying to test it, right? one of the requirements is to look at the volume which is this one right and tingnan niyo ang ang liit ng volume so i'm not saying we're not gonna you know find an entry but that's one big factor right that you look out for um the reason why is it's so important kasi um you know yung strategy kasi natin is playing around the 1 to 15 minutes time frame right that's basically it's right 1 15 uh 5 and then 15 minutes right? 1 to 15 right uh hey double seven commander yes this is not uh this is brave yes this is the brave browser so why it's important way right? back in important the young uh volume is that if if young target not then like uh in my rapido sheet Right, one minute, send me one minute, drop it, should go. Right, open that then. And you can open, right? Um, <laughs> right, minute. So in my target, like right now, I would at least yung parang spread ko, right? The difference is that I would look at um, at least target to one to three percent or one to five percent young gain score right so if there's no much volume there's a big chance na hindi siya hit yung target mo in other words let's say for example if we um short right now right it looks like it's going down right so that's actually a good trend right here as you can see there's a good potential that it should it will hit um, one point or six or something right there if we you know enter right now there's a potential um chance that we'll get pa siya ng 1. Uh, 1507 right 1507.6 something like that as you can see in the one second time frame it's still going down right it's still going down and that's actually breaking it's about to break the support line right as you can see Support line siya dyan. Diba? It's about to break and it should be going back to here at this point. Low, lower low sa 1508. If we go back, yes, it's about to break that support line, right? And ganun lang yung, you know, yung pattern niya, basically, right? So going back to my point about sa kind important the volume sa strategy natin is because we want to make sure that there's a continuous volume right na mag hit yung target so if there's no enough not enough not enough volume so walang mag push ng price to our target diba to our tp target so um we are very careful when when we are trading around um those times na medyo mahina yung volume so and i don't keep it complicated like memorizing uh, those times na malaki yung volume, I just look at the trend, right? Trend is your best friend, right? So, right now, like you can see, uh, earlier, right? Ganun yung volume, right? Ang lakas ng volume pag open, like nag-drop siya, kaya nag-hit yung uh, position natin dito. Nag-hit siya agad, right? Get ya one point uh one five oh seven and we gained four percent out of that. That's a good good gain, right? And then bumalik siya ulit. bang nag bumalik siya ulit one five oh two. That was actually if we look at or if we analyze that, 
um, basically that's like signaling that the price is still going down like if you can see this a uh, surefire pattern here right remember our winning pattern right the w pattern um <clears throat> as you can see here if i could plot that diba nag plot ako dito uh, this was like august 17 this was my old um indicator here that's that was i was like shorting and i've been shorting gold ever since right since last week so if we plot that line there as you can see it, it was still going down to 1504 right there right see it is still going down and it's probably still going down to below to 1500s towards this week right there's a big potential na mag low pa yan and below 1500 it's you know going back if you look at the history of gold uh let's open a new tab right dito sa itoro because we're trading in itoro right so if we look at the stats past week right um, yung range niya, if you can see, it actually went down as 1486. And there's a potential, and again, this is based purely on TA, right? And not considering, you know, outside factors like, you know, Trump indicators and whatnot, right? Anything could happen right, in between the week. Uh, but like, again, again, disclaimer lang, right? Purely TA. If you look at the TA, see, these are su uh, support lines, right? And if you want look back at one month trend, right? These are the uh this this is where we were playing at way back, uh Feb, right? Last quarter, um, and on August it was still playing at one four eight six, right? So if you look at that, it was raising up because my you know the trade wars and everything that's happening right now in the global market, it was going up. But now since it's normalizing. You know, it's about to go back below 1,500. That's purely on TA. And we don't know what will happen because there's um, you know, possible tax, another additional tax, um, Fed tax rate cut, right? It's the U.S. Um, There's a, a good talk about trades, um, priority in, 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 uh, in British, you know, in U.K., between U.S., and that will potentially bring it even more down right for the for the gold price um because uh if you're not familiar yet with gold every time that the economy is going strong the gold usually goes down right usually so that's why i have a list of my blue list right this is where i look at right this is one of this is the day chart right of the gold um, and if you look at here, I intentionally um, arranged, you know, yung watch list ko dito is the Dow Jones, right? This is the US and the VIX, which is the, the volatility for um, Standard & Poor 500 index, right? Basically, the VIX, uh, if it goes up positive, that means gold goes up also. If it goes down it this uh, gold also goes down um it's a volatility index or indicator not then one of the indicators is because it measures how volatile the market is uh, in the u.s right so when there's so much volatility meaning positive then gold goes up because you know based on history and statistics and ta that and, and research uh, when there's a panic in a global market everybody runs to gold right <laughs> So it tends to go really up, you know, really, really positive. Kaya in the last few weeks, if you, you were looking at this, and you should be adding this into your screener or something, right? Um, if you're looking, if you're using a trading view, then I would suggest tag it like a color or, or create a new uh, list here, right? Parang like yung, you could call it like a your day trading list, right? Para at a glance siya, di ba? <clears throat> so like I said, yeah. You should put that there. So and also I added some of the things that I look at for, like yung US dollar, um, and then my pound um pairs that I'm looking at. I mean at. And if you could remember in the past stream call, I did plot uh somewhat a prediction pattern, right? So you can see it's still following my prediction pattern. I'm not hindi ako manguhula, right? Hindi ako a reader or something, but 
if you look at here, it's actually still following our pattern, right? And this is a trending down pattern, by the way. So let's just hope for the best. And I'm not saying we're going to plot ahead um, and, you know, put in long-term entry. No, that's just my speculation. And of course, before we execute our trades, we will and always, always will use our technical analysis, right? In deciding where to, you know, set our entry and our exit. Diba? So, friendly reminder lang. All right, so while waiting for that entry point, uh, since, um, you know, it's this is actually a going down trend, but I don't see any confirmation yet, at least for my strategy. Um, so we're going to make sure that we have that um, good entry point. So while waiting for that, um, I'm going to do look at my checklist here so this is gonna basically young know, time frame continuity not then right and how to execute it so uh another thing that i'd like to remind to remind everybody is your know, uh fomo guys so fear of missing out right So fear of missing out. Basically, what happens is that what is fear of missing out, um, Jen? Basically, this is what happens when, uh, and this could be probably somewhat our fault, right? Because uh, when we share our gains or anybody actually in a group or in Discord, and you know, some of our newbies who thinks that trading is easy, like this right now, which is not, by the way, um, and when they see gains. Immediately, they go to their account, real account, and trade right away, manual trade, without thinking, without using TA or whatsoever. Because they don't want to miss out that, you know, trend, right? Trend of gaining. And that's fear of missing out, right? And you don't want to be in that position. Because most of the time, uh, like 80% of the time, it, you will fail, right? You will definitely lose your hard and earned money. Diba? And this is based on experience. So no good in coming that thing, right? Um that is normal, diba? Kasi, um, you know, the global market is just one big um uh, chaotic uh group of emotions, basically, right? <laughs> trading trading basically is just barter, right? That's basically the idea. You just Trade, right? Buy and sell. Nothing in between, right? But what happens when you are about to decide, the deciding factor, nung, like when you are about to buy, diba? or you're about to sell, the big factor nun is actually your emotion. And then that's basically what's holding you off diba? when to decide to sell or buy. That's the bottom line, the problem, um, where it lies. Um before you before ka pumunta doon diba magsa-study ka pa right research and that's another thing discipline right the um, yung technical analysis mo you hindi mo siya ma-execute consistently is because you lack discipline that's one thing and i know it's easy to say it but it's hard to actually implement it right day to day and for me someone who's been practicing day trading for the past 2 years or even more actually but in real uh, portfolio, I've been practicing in my um, real portfolio for the past two years. It's really hard, you know. And this is me coming from someone who's been practicing it, right? And for everybody else na are inclined or, you know, interested to try this out, please, please, uh, practice muna tayo. You know, we encourage everybody na mag-copy trade muna. Um in profiles like mine and if you can't right now you can easily go to copy people and you'll see the most recommended you know people or investors that are, that are trending right one of the guys that i like to copy or follow is actually b rao i'm sorry if i pronounce that incorrectly uh my friend <laughs> but his real name is bernhard uh rauch i guess that's how you pronounce it 
and he's really really good right really really good and i like his strategy because it fits my strategy right which basically if you look at there see <laughs> he's actually mastered probably the uh, australian usd uh pair right and he also trades sometimes uh, cryptos, which I also do. It's just that I haven't been there quite yet uh, lately. So, dito sa atin, I'm just focused on Bitcoin because I believe Bitcoin is going to hit 20k in the next following months. And that's me. That's just me. Right? So, yun. So, for all the newbies, I'm not discouraging you to try day trading. Yes, please go ahead and study right now. Practice, research, whatever. Converse to us sa Discord channel natin. I encourage everybody to do so. However, do not please, you know, play in your day trading account, right? Um, and I've been saying this for the past streams. And I will always, uh, you know, repeat this and remind everybody now. Um, if we're talking about readiness, right? And then uh, you ask me, um, Kailan, how do I know if I'm ready um, Chad, na mag-trade, na mag-day trade na? Um, and I would always say minimum maybe six months, right? Six months of practicing. When, you, when you're confident enough na, na consistent na yung, you know, gains mo in your virtual, right? And you maybe, you, you push your virtual to like, uh, maybe to, like 10,000 more or even more, depending on your strategy, di ba? Kasi we start at 100K in virtual, right? So it's up to you if, you know, you target like 10K. For six months, 10K is very, very doable, right? In virtual and in real portfolio, once you are confident with your strategy, with your own strategy. I'm not saying copy my strategy. I'm not saying copy everybody's, anybody's strategy, but formulate your own, right? Depending on based on your situation uh, because at the end of the day iba iba yung mindset natin and then iba iba yung mga requirements natin right you could be busy with something like um like you could have a baby like one of our admins um or actually both of our admins bengski and uh glenn actually you know babysit sometimes right while trading and it's amazing to think about it because hindi naman siya mag madali right mag magkarga ng bata tapos while trading, right? And especially when you're day trading, right? So maybe it's doable when you're like on a long-term style and day trading, which, uh, you know, practically depositing money and then choosing a good account, I mean, stock or instrument. And then when you're good with your TA, then you could put your, um, you know, money there and then just you know wait and see you don't have to check it every day right but in our strategy you strategy go i actually play at one to 15 minutes right so it's day trade in and out right as you can see right now we go back to our ta yes it's really confirming to break out um the support line and yes it's going down okay i'd say right now it's actually going down let me confirm it in the um, 30 to an hour time frame just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is going down, guys. Right, so let's see. But yeah, I'm not inclined to add a position or a short position right now. Is because purely of the volume. And you are confident about it. And that's one of our requirements. Although it, all our indicators, like the stock here, here in the five minutes, it's a confirmed going down trend, right? And also in the next 15 minutes, it's going down. It was actually like consolidating right here. See? It was consolidating. Now it's about to break that support line. And it's still about to go down. And uh, this will probably still going to be the same trend in the next uh, few days. 
again, this is purely technical analysis and wala, you know, walang indicators uh, sa fundamentals, right? Like news. And you should watch out for those when you are also executing your trades. Oh, there's a question in the chat. Um, quick question. Based on my research, hindi po at uh, nag-offer ng tech chart. See, trading view, kahit sa upgraded plans nila, tama po ba? Uh, time chart lang po kasi nakikita ko. Tick charts, like you mean less than a second, uh, Gerbor? Just want to clarify it because I know one some of the platforms that I've tried before, when they say tick, that actually means less than a second, yung, like yung mga 100 millisecond charting. If that's the one you're asking for, uh, yes, the most, I believe... Yeah, the most least. Uh, uh yeah, walang millisecond. Sec, uh, seconds lang talaga. So, ito yung range, basically, right? Ito yun. Pinakamaliit is one second, right? Yes, so pinakamaliit na is one second. Although, for me, I, for me, I don't think that's actually useful for me in my strategy. And I keep it simple, right, guys? I, even though if meron silang millisecond, like a pre-tick, Right? I don't think that's actually really that important to me. You don't want to look at that because atakin lang kayo sa puso. I like to look at one second is because I see it would tell us the actual uh, trend, right? And the trend is your best friend, right? So if nagita natin yung trend, it's going down or going up. Dito, obvious na obvious. Like here, it's right now about to break that... Um, Support, right? See? Nag-push na siya dito. Pupush na naman siya. Pababa, 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 and pababa. Until, we, you know, mag-oversold na siya. And then, it goes up again a little bit. And, you know, the, the pattern continues. Bali set number of trades. Sir, for example, 1,000 trades per bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, wala. Walang ganun. Walang ganun. Alrighty, um, let's see. Okay, while waiting for that confirmation, let me continue. So yeah, another question, by the way, guys, that I've been um, getting lately is how to set your SLTP. So simply, if you trade right now, right, there's a buy and a sell, right? Make sure that when you, before you open the trade, confirm ano yung position nyo. Kasi it happens, right? And I know this from experience na direjiretso kayo click and then by default, pag dito kayo mag-click, that's a buy, right? That's why I always have my um, if I have an open, active position dito sa portfolio ko, I always have or switch my view from this and it's changed simply. You could, by the way, change your view, type of view here, right? Dito, upper right. And let me call that um, three lines, right? The three bars. You could switch it to a different view, like Dito 6. Um, and it will switch like this. There's another view like that. This is exposure, right? And you could click that, click that back, and it, this is the view that I want, right? Yung my buy and sell na buttons to the right. Okay, this is the view that I like. Why is because if you execute your trades here, there's a big chance sometimes ma mismo. Although by default when you click trade, it's always buy, right? By default, nakabay siya palagi. Yeah, that's one thing. Now to answer the question about dito lang ako gagawin natin because the mo moment uh, mag click ako dito, and if naka enable yung um, one click trading natin dito sa settings, right? If not enable siya, which I just removed that, it will execute right away. Right. So, so going back to SL and um, TP, bottom line is the question was how do I set my S stop loss and take profit? 
um, the the question to that answer is basically it depends on you. It depends on your strategy. It's again maling mali na tanungin mo somebody who's been also trading in the group. Uh, ano yung SL and TP mo? That's a wrong question, guys. Uh, and that will just lead you to um, unavoidable disaster, right? Disaster sa equity nyo and you know potentially pasunog yung um, positions nyo. It's because like this. Here's an, uh, a good, very good example, right? So like, for example, I'm trading at fifty, diba? Tapos I'll ask um, you ask me or anybody, and then uh, let's just say we answer right away like, ah, yeah, I'm using 50 times 50, right? Or times 100, right? Extreme, right? And then, uh, my stop loss is actually uh, max. Ginawa kong like 100%, right? So, if I, here it is, if 100% ko, I would do negative 50, right? Right? That's actually 100% there. See? na convert siya. So, 1494. Yan yung stop loss ko. And then yung take profit ko, ito yun. Right? Um, yung take profit ko, let's just say, 1.5 kasi buy siya. 1.510 or 1.511. Right? Because I know, blah, 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 na mag 1.511 siya in the next 30 minutes. Yan, confident na confident ako. Right? So, <laughs> so yung nagtanong naman, Dire diretso, like, ah, okay, ganun ba? Bam. Punta siya dito, set siya ng trade niya, diretso stop loss, same exact, everything, without thinking, na yung kausap niya was actually using a thousand position trade here. Right? And yung actual range ng stop loss niya is actually within his budget, within his strategy. ba? So, going back, maling mali talaga magtanong ng stop loss specific numbers especially specific numbers of ano yung stop loss nyo and then ano yung um, take profit nyo targets and also on top of that yung leverage nyo because meron maraming factors eh That's, the big factor is again your strategy strategy meaning your risk appetite right your budget your equity di ba you wouldn't want to be setting a specific stop loss and then take profit when it's not even close to your targets, diba? Asking that question just literally, you know, tells us, tells us admins and, you know, veteran traders right off the bat na wala pa tayong alam, right? And I know that's, we encourage you guys asking questions, but that's a wrong question. And then that means we have to go back and study how this works. And please do not um, try that in your re real portfolio right away. Uh, if you want to test that out, do it. Do it. It's a virtual. <clears throat> oh, there's a question. Uh, came from Gerbor. Madalas po naririnig na day trading is a gambling. Ano po masasabi niyo dito? Oh, well. That's partially true, actually. Um, by definition, what is gambling? Diba? Google natin. Right. Diba? Gambling is the wagering of money or something of value or stakes on an event with an uncertain outcome with the primary intent of winning money or materials goes. So, let me Google that, right? So, gambling. Para makita yung. Right, ko lang yan, right? So let me answer your question. Uh, and this is just my honest opinion, right? What is gambling, right? Um, and I agree with this um, description, right? But the question was, is day trading gambling? 100% no, in my opinion, right? Because the key word here, basically, is this part. An event with an uncertain outcome. Diba? Um, if you're gambling sa casino and for, you know, yung sa mga tao na kaputa na dun, when you put your money there, do you have, do you have the, <laughs> the option to get it back? Right? Yeah. Hey, wait lang muna. Uh, 
while it's rolling, right? May option ka bang bawiin yung nilagay mo dito na sa table? That's one thing na example is no, right? Basically, when you put your money down to the table, you bet it, that's it, right? Basically, if we apply that dito sa trading natin, that's a 100% stop loss agad, right? The moment that you put your money on the table, sa gambling table, right? Sa casino, or in sa mga illegal or wherever, di ba? The moment you put your money down there, derecho, 100% stop loss yun. And 100% TP, di ba? That's basically the setting sa gambling, right? Because point is, you're betting everything, right? What you... Uh, just bet on the table on the event with uncertain outcome unless, you know, rig siya. But bottom line, uncertain yung outcome niyan. Sa day trading, right, we use technical analysis to avoid un, right, uncertain outcome. That's the main point here that I'll focus on, right? Um, and this goes to everybody na thinking about, you know, trading is just gambling. No. We don't use technical analysis. Then, yeah, that's pure gambling. So, everybody who's been like fomo and then like trade bigla without thinking, whatever, then that's gambling, right? But us who are, you know, striving and studying every day, reading a book, listening to videos and uh, watching videos and listening to podcasts on mga ganun, Right, researching, studying, asking questions, right? And how to properly set this indicator or you know, paano, paano ba i-design yung indicator or four chart, paano ba gumawa ng six chart, mga ganun. Then we're not gambling because we're researching. We know for a fact na we could somewhat predict, you know, the pattern, right? We could uh, read the trend. And for me, my friend, that is not gambling because we know where it goes, right? And we could also stop it before we, you know, um, get into a, a very bad position, right? May wrong option tayo mag-cut loss, right? Um, based on our strategy. And again, that is not gambling. I hope I answered your question, Gerbor. And thank you for that very good question because that's actually one of the frequently asked questions. All right, let me just reply a message. And um, <laughs> oh, there's another question. I know stocks po are closed during weekends. Pero is there any other instrument of wedding a trade during weekends para makapag-practice din during weekends? Uh, at least that's a very good question. Uh, stocks? No, because they're all closed somewhat, right? Depends on the time um, timeline, right? I mean, time zone. So we go to uh, market hours, right? Um, and again, if you're asking about yung market hours, guys, uh, it's always, always a good practice to go to the website itself. Do not assume because you know, they could change this anytime, right? So, if you're asking to answer that quickly, uh, as you can see here, cryptocurrency, right? Cryptocurrency runs 24 hours, 7 days a week, guys. You could trade them anytime. The good thing, um, that's a good thing, right? The bad thing is that it's very volatile and it's not yet even near to stay, you know, stabilizing. So, we're, we're in that um uh time in that uh, revolutionary period kumbaga at least that's what i believe is that way way back diba if if you're in a fan of history dati you know we're trading uh trading using gold coins right or or silver or or uh, ano ba tong mga commodities dati right metals precious metals diba we use like jade or uh diamonds, mga ganun yung trades natin, right? And as if you can see, look at this list. This is basically this, right? 
Ito yung dati. This is basically the future we're looking at right now. At least, again, this is my own opinion. And these are the instruments that you could trade 24 hours, 7 days a week, non-stop. Right? You could trade them anytime. I know a few people that are very, very successful because, you know, they like to risk. You know, again, based on strategy, this is their, you know, part of their risk appetite. And they are still playing. I've met them way back 2014. They're still playing right now around these uh, instruments. And they have been constantly, constantly uh, successful. So if you like cryptocurrency, by all means, explore that. And, you know, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Not just Bitcoin, but everything about cryptocurrency is 24-7. As you can see, I just went to the market hours, fees, uh, hours and fees, right? You can simply access that by going to the help, right? Help. And then trade, market hours and fees. Click that. That should open a new window. Ito na yung new window, right? This is the win the page that I was looking at. Make sure to refresh it, right? Para updated yung page. And then click cryptocurrency. That's the only group there of instruments that are available 24-7. And there's a lot, right? And it's still growing because and daming, you know, nag-innovate, see? Um, there's even a pair right now, right? See, Litecoin, pinapair na nila. Litecoin to a uh, specific um, currency, right? And that's really, really interesting. I might jump there uh, and study it for maybe a year, but not yet because I'd like to practice um, and uh, master gold. Yeah, so with that being said, 24 7, although meron ding mga events na nag close talaga siya. And these are the major events based on eToro, right? This is just purely eToro. So, yeah, just watch out for those. Uh, although I don't think that they're still affected. as a exchange lang and uh, indices yung affected. Although, if National Day, there's a big chance na affected din. Kasi magsasarado yung exchange. Eh. So, if sarado yung exchange, that means all of the trading stop, right? Eh, that includes crypto. I am. So I hope that I answer your question. Um, twenty five percent po stop loss ng Bitcoin and all uh, some cryptos. You cannot set below. Mm, I'm not hundred percent sure about that. Like I said, hindi pa ako naka practice ng um, crypto uh, a lot. But yes, I've been trading Bitcoin. Um, so to answer your question, let's. Fig, find that out together, right? <clears throat> so if I trade a stop loss small, right? You could pretty much to answer your question, you could pretty much set no stop loss in all the trades here as long as wala kang leverage. That means times one. If you times two it, then yeah, there's a specific uh, limitation. Um, you cannot set below 24%. Yeah, let me, let's try that. Um, so Um, let's see. Let's just say negative 40 and then. <clears throat> Stop loss can be lower than 30%. Oh, all right. Okay, so see, maximum is negative 30. So that means 50% loss. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I haven't explored that yet because as you can see, your position at then is actually no stop loss, right? Because I, you know, firmly believe it goes go and it goes up, and that's that's my long term game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can win no stop it. That's true. Tamas yang meki. All right, let me go back. Mm. Or I'm going to trade tayo one, at least one. All right. Are you guys ready? Because I think I'm seeing a trend. Okay. 
Let's see. Okay, wait, nothing, guys. <clears throat> everybody ready or anyone is ready? I see at least. How about everybody uh, else? I see 30 people watching right now. Can you make some noise <laughs> and tell us if you are with us today? Um, set up ko lang. Ready ko lang yung trades natin. Window on my other window. Okay, it went up 1.09. Okay, that's a good bounce back there. Yeah, I think nothing if we could do. A short one. Mm -hmm. It's going up to 110. So uh, when reading, when reading, um, by the way, changes, guys, um, and we're trading right at only at the one five. I mean, the last two digits, right? I'm actually only trading at that level. So, uh, for example, it's the price right now is one five oh nine, right? When I say ten, eleven, seven, that means we're only reading yung um yung tens, right? The tens only. We're trading on that. Only. We're not trading at the hundreds, right? Meaning to say, yung difference ng, ng inahanap natin is just on tens. So, if if you read the numbers here correctly, diba dito ito yung nag, nagbabago, right? So, 1509, the tens part, right? In mathematical positions is yung 09 lang. Right now, it's 9, right? That's the tens. So, it could be 10, it could be 11, it could be 5, it could be 4. So, when I say it's, I'm gonna trade at 1509.33, shorting it until 1508.4, right? So I would say I'm going to open a trade shorting 09 and then setting TP to 08.6, right? That's how we're going to call it way forward, right? Para train train. <laughs> All right, okay. Mukhang uh, six or five lang ata tayo. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so um, waiting for okay, it's about to go up, it's actually going up in five minutes and it's actually going back up. So that means it's a good opportunity because again, this is based on um, TA, right? We might see an, an indicator boom, although it's too early and the market is closed in the US, so that means less indicators, so fundamentals. All right, I'm going to check that. Yes, yes, definitely. All right, I'm going to set a position here right now. Um, let's see. Okay, opening a position here at sell value. I just added two positions. Short. Setting TP to oh eight point six. All right, so set my TP. That's done, and now we wait. Yeah, now we wait. <laughs> it's the most exciting part, right? So, uh, 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 uh. okay. So it's going up right now in one second don't panic because we're playing at the one minute to five fifteen minutes time frame right in the five minutes yes it's trending it's showing it's going up but i trust my ta and then if indicia close in the next i don't know 30 minutes 
and I'm about to end my stream in the next 30 minutes too. I'll update you guys a uh, day trading channel, although you could set your um, own technical analysis too. So after that, while I wait, I usually set my horizontal line indicator, right, to help me uh, see that, right? So actually I have one Adito. I'm just gonna move that. So I set it 1.60. So as you can see, the trading view, Merong difference, right? My um, difference actual pricing sa Toro. So I move, I'll move that to, so I set my TP, di ba? 1508. So 0860, right? So plus 20 tayo sa trading view because there's a like 20 difference, 0.20 difference. So it should be 4 or 39 again. Then I set an alarm. Set to only once. Once it hits, I set my alarm. And this is the alarm that I set, the handbell. And I save. That means the moment that it hits there, it will notify me. And I'll know that nag TP yung position natin. Right, now it's about to go down again. Yeah. So one minute, it's right now going down. If there's a big volume here of, you know, sell positions or short positions, automatically mag hit yung DP natin. That's a hundred percent. All right. How about you guys? Did you did you open a position? Very good. Okay. <laughs> Watching. That was a trick question, Diva. <laughs> yeah, I just saw um, a post uh, copy trading. You're welcome, Aline. And congratulations for your gains or greens when copy trading me. Congratulations. Let's get more greens, right? Flying. <laughs> All right, good job, uh, Ang Meki. Yes, another technique would be when you're still learning is please use lower leverage or don't use leverage at all. Diba? Uh, question. Uh, kaso hindi po sure kung appropriate itanong to dito. Wondering, tayo, uh, ah, wondering hindi po ba tayo abuli ng BR? Kung malaman nilang... <laughs> that I don't know. That's a good question. Positions one is times ten. Lang swing pong two trade. Nice, nice uh decision right there. I'm making. All right, so let's watch it. It's official. Uh, wait. Sabi yung nakabookmark na pro charts ko. In. So I'm going to watch it here. Ayun. Elise, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes. Please go ahead and just add your friends. Uh, in a way, it's very different naman dun sa tawag nito sa mag copy trade man um, like starting kasi right now my profile just hit um, like I said earlier sa maximum asset, uh, assets under management um, for someone hindi pa part sa um, popular investor program right so yeah we just hit that so unfortunately hindi na kayo pwede mag copy right now until I am part of that program but for those who are still actively copying me right now those 29 people uh, congratulations again and 
all you could do actually if you have extra cash you could add, add funds and that will basically improve your returns right because the higher of course obviously the higher your funds the higher equity the higher of course is your returns because when you copy my trading for example if you have over five thousand dollars the equity nino and then right now i'm trading at um, well over a thousand dollars in this account so that means every 10 percent of my trades is potentially 20 percent uh dun sa actual level more right so that means and returns malaki right so i mean it's still 10 percent in terms of your portfolio but since proportional siya, so my 100 by position in your case could be you know uh 300 right could be 400 right kasi mas malaki yung funds mo and that's how it works so the higher your fund the better diba? <laughs> All right, so let's watch our position. All right, it's about to go down there. In the five minute, 10, it went up, all right? But in 15 minutes, we're safe still. So I'm short biased, by the way, with gold right now. It's just because, you know, and I mean good news, right? And I mean good news. So, um, in, you know us and the global market right as you can see in volatility index uh, it's going down right so i'm ayun, it's about to go back down guys there we go ayun sige push pow 085 right so 086 right so 086 tayo sige push pa sa support and it's about to break support. In in one second, this is basically where you see if it's about to, you know, do a you know a big move. Ayan, see? It's about to break support and it will show up here so one minute, diba? Na chart natin, which is a bit slower compared here. This is the basically the one second real time, right? And since this is Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to uh, adjust my TP to 087. 087. 087.5. Yep. 087.5. All right. All right. Let's wait. So just post your questions while waiting, while watching it unfolds, right? Let's switch to the real um, platform that we're looking at. So obviously, it's going down in one minute. It's right now about to go down in five minutes. It's still going down 15 minutes. And uh, no, in 10, sorry. And then 15, it's going down. In 30, it's still consolidating. But in an hour, it's still going down. Right now, we're just playing in these time frames, right? Until 15 minutes. Of course, the moment it goes beyond the 15 minutes, that means swing trade that I, right? And for me, that's swinging into the hour or two hours uh, time frame. <laughs> Ang Meki, uh, yeah, like I've been saying earlier, it's not about my risk. You could still copy people with seven risk actually it was about like i said earlier asset under management ito yung limitation ko hindi yung hindi po yung uh, risk factor what's hit us what hit us is yung ito ito po yon hindi pong risk All right so again i'll repeat it dito po tayo na hit sa AO, AUM range my my limit po yung mga members na hindi uh, popular investor pa. So we're not yet there kasi my account is just young. Yeah? Wala pang two months nga na history to. So the reason why you can't copy me is because of this. And you could actually read that message when you're about to copy me. It will not tell you something about my risk uh, score. If it did, it will literally say that. 
right? You can't copy this because this investor has over seven risk factor or risk score, right? But that's not the problem. I hope that's clear enough. Let's see, let's see. All right. Yep, it's about to hit that um, support line and it should go back here, at least here, safely. Diba? Or in our one minute time frame, dito. And it's all red. If it goes like one, uh, 06 levels, and then we're good to go, all right? All we are actually looking at is oh, 0.842. And it goes down there. Then it's bye-bye. <laughs> right? Uh, and TP right away. And that's easy game. <clears throat> um... Let me go back to my FAQ list. All right. Well, so while waiting, also for that, while waiting, ITP. <laughs> yeah. Um, is I'd like to talk about, actually, I'm thinking about depositing um, right now to show you guys yung feature. Um, deposit funds. Oh, wait. Nalag out ako. Let me refresh that. Give me a sec and be right back on the Let me log in to the account, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nag-boot out ako kasi matagal na siguro login na hindi ko na nakalag out sa browser. So just sent me a verification code. Verify ko lang. Hmm. Medyo natagalan yung verification code. Alright. Now, while waiting for that, tagal ng verification code. Yeah, let me talk about the local deposit. Um, so that's what I'm about, about to do, right? And I'm going to deposit a call. Um, apparently, there is a new feature yung deposit to directly to local banks uh, using the Dragon Pay uh, third party platform, right? Which is great kasi um, na napuputol na yung um, 
you know, the the usual turnaround time. Tapos, yung mga requirement na needed mong mag-credit card if your account is not ready yet, um, you can also use that, right? As an alternative. Mas, at tapos, mas madali pa as far as I know and then or, or heard. So, I'd like to try that out today um, with you guys while waiting for um, our TP hit. <laughs> um... Ah, uh, Gerber, I sleep at least 7 to 8 hours. Siguro, you just feel like uh, I answer it when I'm available, basically. Kasi na, I'm, I work at night. So, I could basically, like, answer lang. Switch, you switch lang yung window, right? And when I see a, a, a simple question, then I try to answer it. Yun lang. Something is wrong sa... Code verification. Wala akong natatanggap na uh, tax. Teka lang guys. I'll be right back. Baka sa signal sa dito sa office ko. Dalin ko sa labas. Baka pumasok yung tax. Alright, sorry about that guys. May medyo mayroong problema ata sa uh, phone verification ko. But, good news is, look at that guys. And I just heard my bell ringing. Ayun. We just hit our tippy, right? And I'll share that real time here. Right now, kuha na ako ng screenshot. Um, the trade not then. I did that in my other account. Good thing I did that in my other account. Um, step ko lang. Alright. And I'll share that sa day trading channel natin. And I just tagged everybody. And look at that. We just tp Right, we just take profit and it's still going down. Like I said, it's going down based on TP. It's probably going down below 1500 uh, before the weekends. Yeah, may problema pa rin yung login ko sa isang account ko dito. I'll wait for the code to come in. I don't know what's up. And so that's our day trading, uh, guys. Uh, 
I hope may natutunan kayo today. And, um, you know, although you could still replay this later sa YouTube once I post it. And, um, unfortunately, I can't uh, show you guys how to deposit uh, uh, using the local. I'll create a video and record this uh, it later. Tapos I'll upload it sa YouTube. But uh, you guys could just replay and watch it, right? Um, if you have questions about it, please don't hesitate to post it sa uh, uh, general channel natin. And I encourage everybody na gam gamitin yung Discord instead of the group page. Um, and please read the rules, right? If, again, and um, we are very strict about this, if you post a question or post something in our group page and... Um, you could easily find this in Google. You googling it, right? We automatically decline the post. Please don't also spam posting there. That's not what it's for. And you could, you know, post your questions and mas madali mat ma ma answer yon with our veteran traders dito sa Discord because we're more you know in, engaged there. Uh, instead, a group page. It's a group page. It could take a day. Or a few hours, but if you're posting your questions, uh, Discord, um, if there's someone like Winston or, or um, Michael Ang or our admins who's there, they would, you know, answer your questions. And I encourage everybody who knows the answer to please answer, you know, answer the question. Do not wait um, for us to answer it. If you're confident, of course, please uh, make sure that <laughs> yung sagot nyo naman is is tama, right? Hindi. <laughs> In the young um misleading, right? <laughs> All right. Good job, Marantha. So yun, practice, practice, right? So shout out to Gerwin Borero. Oh uh, Herwin. <laughs> and and um also one thing before I forget, um uh, Yes, um, we've been talking about this lately, so group page, right? And in our uh, Discord chat also, we will uh, have our official website uh, finally up in the coming days. I'm actually working on it today. Um, so our website is um, tmeph.com. And it's ready ngayon, but we will post and uh, announce it later today. Um, in our group page and uh, not today sorry but in, within the coming days right ayun si uh, tingnan niyo yung indicator ng drop ko almost accurate yung drop niya right now it's bouncing back up and it's right now this is basically the support line right it's trying to come up it's it's going to again go back down again and potentially will hit this same level in the next few hours or days and like I said, it's a gold. I am almost confident that it's going to hit below 1,500, right? Uh, before the weekends. Again, that's before, of course, if merong mga outside indicators like Trump tweets, right? And, um, you know, sudden outbreaks or news, kumbaga. So watch out for those also. Alrighty. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and uh, please watch out for that video. So depositing and withdrawing, I'll, I'll, I'll create a, a short video about it um, and I'll post it to Facebook later. I mean, Facebook and YouTube later on uh, this day. Also, yung sa, this video will be posted also in Facebook, YouTube and Twitter once, once it's uh, uploaded in YouTube. All right. Thank you. Gold morning, gold afternoon and gold evening sa lahat. Um, ingat po tayo and uh, please ingatan po natin yung... Um, Real money natin. And uh, if you ask me for all those newbies, please do not like, you know, meron mga taong, you know, um, how do I say this? Meron mga taong like super confident about themselves and then just because they gained um, or they, they, they gained uh, a few dollars for the past couple of days, they think that that's basically it, right? That's it. 
and uh, we're here to tell you no. <laughs> um, it, it takes at least, you know, again, 52 weeks or even more. Some actually are still practicing uh, to this day. And it's a constant you know, thing because um, trading systems, you know, evolves, you know, because it's a mathematical, um, you know, uh, probability kind of thing. Kumbaga, diba? We use technical analysis and this is pure math, basically, right? The other part of it is fundamental, which is pure emotions, diba? And, and news uh, driven. So if you're new, uh, I would like to, Again, encourage everybody. If you're new, please use copy trading. Wala po siyang bayad. Automatic siya. Like, stress-free. As long, of course, you trust the one that you copied. And of course, before you copy them, do, do your own research, right? Do your own diligence. Right? Check the history. If I you could uh, simply go to their profile, right? And then just check their previous performance. Although, that's not a uh, you know, indicator a god to you know to copy them, but um, you know that's one thing that you could uh, look at, right? And at the end of the day, bottom line, what's your decision? You know, is purely yours, right? Um, so you're empowered on that, right? So if anong gagawin niyo, that's up to you, diba? Ik sa yun but we're just here to remind you, please, um, you know, be careful with your real um, money or hard-earned money. Because and then, you know, when, ever since we started way back June, right, late June, and it's been three months and it's been wild, right? Daming members pumasok, daming tao na ngayon. Dati, like, ilan lang kami, right? And then, during that time, meron daming na fufomo, biglang nawala, right? Biglang tumahimik. It's just purely because nasunugan ng maraming pera. Right? So, yeah. Copy trade and then practice. And uh, when I say practice, use virtual trading instead. When we're live day trading, like si Samantha, uh, sorry, Marantha, <laughs> si Marantha, she used virtual, right? While actually practicing. So, yeah. You should have used virtual earlier, right? when we were trading. I use my real account though because I'm confident with my TA and I used, you know, my actual strategy when executing that. So, and, you know, positive siya. <laughs> so copy trade, practice, and then if you're serious about learning how to trade, then by all means, join the day trading channel uh, or positioning trading, uh, position trading channels and talk and ask your questions, right? And, um, you know, converse, join us, talk, um, join our live trading sessions um, when your schedule, you could actually see that uh, events page, the group page, if you want to know the schedule. Uh, time is not accurate, it's just an estimation. <laughs> As you can see, major delay tayo ng isang oras, right? And, uh, you know, because we have our real life stuff to do. So, you know, yun. If, of course, if you're not, if you think na wala kayong oras, then copy trading is your best friend, right? Fund your account, verify your account, fund it, and uh, put money uh, you are actually willing to lose, right? I'm going to say willing instead of afford just because um, the moment that you fund it and then you invest it, you know, the, my, my risk, right? your capital is always at risk. And we always say that, you know, in my post um, to make sure that everybody is aware about it, right? Hindi po to, like, um, you know, hindi po to, like, 100% accuracy. Although you've been seeing my accuracy is, like, around 80 to 90%, which I'm ha so happy about because that means my strategy is working. Uh, however, meron pa rin yung mga red days, right? That's the 10% of it, right? So if, if accuracy ko is 80 to 90% of my trades are all, like, TP'd and whatnot, Right? Tapos puro gains, which I've been sharing to you guys every day, every week. Uh, but then, the 10% of it is purely losses. Diba? So think about it. And that loss could be the whole week. Right? <laughs> so, uh, for some, they discourage uh, agad and then, you know, you know, bumigay agad and then nag-close agad ang account to Miguel. Right? 
for all those who are you know serious about day trading then you have to think about that right meron talagang mga araw na red days or weeks or even months and uh, you know just hold on and then you know talk to us para alam mo na in, you're not alone right everybody makes mistakes and you know you, even if we have a very good strategy you know meron pa ring nangyayari na it goes you know the other way around that's the uncertain part of it although majority the the goal here basically guys if you're a day trader is that you win at the end of the day. Yun lang, right? The goal is to win at the end of the day. And majority of it should be wins, right? So, lose small, win big. Yun lang, right? That's um, simple lang yung strategy natin. So, let me just read quickly through the chat before I end the stream. So, yeah, Samyan Day Trading Readiness is equals Capital Technology, the IQ... Trading EQ virtual portfolio experience. Wow. All right. That's actually accurate. Uh, Major and Daming plus signs. <laughs> Confused. Uh, you're welcome, Ameki. Uh, yes, Martha. More practice. So, yeah. Like, uh, also, just to share you, right? Uh, I started day trading or thinking about day trading way, way back 2013. Imagine that. And I've been practicing ever since, right? Silently. On my own, which is a sad thing, right? To think about, right? Um, and been practicing since moving forward, right? And then I started uh, trading in Etoro way back 2017, when oh no, 2016 when um, the Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency boom, right, started. So ever since that day, I just continuously practice in my virtual account. And, um, you know, study and, and, and practice, practice, practice. And, you know, a lot of reading, a lot of watching videos and thinking about tinkering, right? Like formulating my strategy. So, anong best na mag -apply sa personality ko and my, my finances also. And, and that's all I'm saying is that you are lucky right now. Everybody is lucky right now in sa part ng group natin because we are here. And we have veteran traders like um, Master Bengski and, and Glenn and um, everybody else who's been trading for well over, you know, three or four years um, in in PSE and global market combined, right? So that means and dami nilang natin like knowledge and, and resources. If you are serious about learning it, all you have to do is read, watch, study, practice, rinse and repeat, ask your questions, right? If you're not unsure, if you don't, if you think you you don't understand yung nababasa niyo sa Google when you research it, I know we've been saying Google is your friend, please research it first. If hindi niyo makuha right away, ask, right? And then we're here, we're all here to help um, one another, right? Um, so we'll try to explain it to you in layman's term, mga ganon, like we use analogy para mas madali makuha, di ba? Kasi you know, iba iba ang isipan natin, iba iba yung backgrounds natin. So, you you know, not everybody is good at math. I'm not good at math. I'm just you know, uh, good at trend reading. I like analytics, right? Um, although math analytics is mostly math also, <laughs> but yeah, that's weird kind of weird situation for me. So yun yeah. So it takes. A lot of effort and commitment guys if you're serious about this so heads up na lang, right for those who would like to earn um you know learn it because i've been getting that question like how to trade right how how to do this like um i guess first thing question is what do you want to do really like learn how to trade or just invest all right and let other people do it for you because that's actually what the copy trading is about Diba? All right, so sir, copy ko yung stock max city settings mo. Try ko super top port ko. Yung MACD and stochastic ko is actually just, you know, normal settings. Wala akong binago. Elise, you're welcome. Uh, all right. Salamat, Aplata. So, yeah, so good. Cold morning, lads. Uh, KSA. Hi, very dark. Um, tapos, tapos, tapos. Hopefully, sir, pwede makapitrading. 
Yeah, ako. Yeah, hopefully by October. Kasi they require two months, right? So by September, hopefully, I'll continue to, you know, medyo alam ko na yung paano we control yung risk factor ko. Then I'll continue practicing that. Um, then uh, we should maintain our risk factor be- uh, below six. You know, moving forward to, to September. So by October, we'll be there sa Papil Investor. You know, good vibes and positive lang, right? <laughs> yeah, so, and we have a very good support sa Itoro side, which is we are grateful for. And that's why, you know, madali yung updates natin, madali yung improvements sa system because we have a very good support here in Asia Pacific, right? Which is, we are part of it. Uh, ko po, if you would enter a trade, if my confirmation, good po, if you're road the trend right away, but if not, if oh, we always make it a point now wait for the trade to happen, meaning if it goes the other way, you can just wait for it. But then, just have to know if reversal in trend, that is when you cut your losses, stop, as I said. That is correct. That is correct, uh, Ang Meki. Very good, Mar- uh, Marley. <laughs> That's the way you do it, yes. So, yeah, moving forward, next session at 10, for everybody who'd like to, you know, trade with me, Please use your virtual trading if you're not yet confident, right, with your strategy, right? Ayun. So, gold morning, good afternoon, gold evening sa lahat again. Thank you, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Uh, let me check my schedule real quick sa group page natin. Tignan natin. Anong next schedule ba natin? Mm. Hmm. Oh, Okay. Uh, so today is 19 so wala akong schedule from 20 to 21 uh, yeah kasi I have, a, I have to complete yung website natin so next session natin is on August 22 uh, that's Philippine time by the way so but August 22 uh, same time around this time 10 to 1pm and um, the time there is again not accurate because meron tayo mga you know responsibilities so we might change that or you know Ma late or ma, ma early tayo. So if we go online in a way, you'll, you'll know because I'll post it to group, to Discord, and to Twitter if you uh, are a fan of Twitter. All right. So yun lang. Thank you, thank you, and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>